two streams in one day. He can't keep getting away with it. Kill. Uh, welcome to Salty Bet. Part whatever. Uh, we got some lovely, lovely art here from Triple Tritone, who has just been outdoing themselves, posting non-stop bangers to the Buru. So, thank you very much. It is a beautiful, it's a simple, it's simple, but it's beautiful. And it's a lovely walk or march, and I thought it would go perfectly with this song, which I've been thinking about this song a lot. I've been thinking about Mother 3 a lot. This song, especially, I've, like, I've become already conditioned that when I hear the little thing at the beginning, that shit, it's like, it dumps serotonin into my brain. <laughs> Just on, like, based on, like, a Pavlovian response or whatever. It's so good, and in retrospect, of course, I had already heard the version of this song in Smash. The version in Smash is amazing, too. Uh, anyway. We're gonna hop right into Salty Bet, uh, folks. Oh, you know, I should've, uh, I should've sent a picture. I'm gonna have to send a picture from my fucking phone to my computer. Uh, because I really want to show you guys something. Hold on, let's put the music back on. Uh, this is so embarrassing, entirely my fault. Uh... Something magical happened in Salty Bet last night. And I will... I will show you in just a second. Basically, I'm rich now. I am fucking rich. I'm gonna Discord send this so many times when I want to, uh... Send an image from my phone to my computer. It's like it used to be I would get the fucking cable out and shit But uh, I usually just now message it on discord to Bella and then d d download it off discord And she's gotten so used to it that she just doesn't even question it when I uh, send images <laughs> Just like random like how could this possibly pertain to me images? So I'm sorry forgive me everybody By the way uh, Isabel is in great spirits today because her least favorite co-worker got fired. And honestly, so based. I'm sorry, this is so embarrassing. I, at the beginning of the stream, I was like, oh, well, what else is there to set up? I literally, like, said that sentence out loud like a dumbass. Okay, here's what happened in Salty Bet last night. I- sometimes, when we're like watching fucking like gay volleyball anime or whatever, I will play Salty Bet on my phone, just idly in the background. And... There was this- there was this bet, where I bet just a, a small-ish amount of money, and it was on the very first match of exhibition mode, and somebody, for whatever reason, the matchup seemed super even, they bet 110 million fucking dollars. And so, as you see here, the odds were 143 to 1. And I bet six, like, roughly $60,000. And I got $8,916,527 in return. Because Giorno Giovanna GE won. So, uh, I'm rich now. I'm literally rich in the game, and now we can start doing, like, crazy bets. Like, I, today, I don't want to do a single bet under 100k. And I don't know if I'll ever do an all-in. Honestly, all-inning is, like, kind of stupid at a certain amount of money, but maybe if I just, like, keep blowing it over and over again, maybe I will do that. Uh, let me just get this music off. Uh, I'm just gonna double-check that I... I sent the tweet, right? I think I did. Oh my god, it's this song. It's the Gil rework or whatever. And look, it's R King. Oh, I wish I could have bet on this one. Because I would have bet 100k on R King. He's the fucking, like, goo goo brain chud uh, grappler that does bullshit like that. Huh. Alright, so it's Salty Bet. The, you, most of you know what this is by this point. I feel like I don't need to explain it. There's chat command for it. Uh, if you're a VOD viewer just hopping in right here. I don't know, maybe watch a previous VOD, or go do the chat commit. We're betting on AI with fake money. And the- it's a- there's a billion characters in this fighting game. Yeah, Arking is just free wins. I don't know why, like, he so often gets bet against. He's so good. So good. 
Okay, we got a Rugal versus Magaki Xi, yeah, which I don't. Is it, are you really supposed to say that like she, or, or or perhaps is that a Roman numeral? Just in weird lowercase. Uh, so yeah, we got 16 million fucking salty bucks. 16 and a half million, roughly. Okay, oh, this guy, I'm assuming is from King of Fighters or something. He looks- it, author, same author, look, Jin, Jin. That's so funny. Uh, alright, we're doing n no bets under 100k today. That's the dream, at least. We're gonna go with the Rugal. The Rugal is frugal, I believe. I hope you guys are all doing okay today. I know we're, this is probably going to be a relatively chill stream because, uh, and, and by that I mean low viewership, because I've been doing so much Pizza Tower lately and I feel like all the people who have been turn tuning into a lot of my recent streams are just here for Pizza Tower and now they're probably like, what the fuck is this? Also, I'd like to draw your attention up here too. So, earlier on in this series, there was Vice and Mature, by the way. Uh, I love Mature. What a great name. This is my global ranking. I'm number 840 in the world now. Which is fucking nuts. I'm in the top 1,000, so for a long time, my goal in this series... Let's turn it up a little bit. Was to get to 10 million. And then, uh... Not only did I clear that, but I was thinking like, Oh, maybe I'll get to 10 million and then I'll start doing like kind of big bets. And maybe... Just maybe I can get into the top 1,000. But then last night, when I was just casually doing small bets, I got a fuck ton of money. So here we are. I don't know, my goal is not now 100 million, before you ask. But, uh... Let's, I'm, I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm sorry that, like, overall the arc, the proposed arc of this, uh, season has changed. But that's just how it is. Call that a plot twist. I guess. Top one. No, do you know, by the way, good fucking job, Rugal. Hell yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good shit. We are cooking. Um, you want to know who top one is? I don't think you guys are ready for who top one is. Hold on. Now, let me just show you the top one. Let me go to the leaderboard. You ready? Yandere Dev Jump Scare. It's literally the Yandere Dev. With 20 billion salty bucks. Alright. Here's Wabbit Season, who is a frequent chatter. C minus, I think we see betting a lot too. Yep, it's fucking Yandere Dev. He was botting on Salty Bet for like years and years, and I think has finally stopped. He literally just like cut it off at top one. I'm gonna go with uh, Raidu. Oh, 50,000. That is pathetic. Poor people, this guy's he I like this guy's name. Hero Yui. What a great name. Straight out of a YouTube poop. Yes, Yandere Dev had a bot that was it, it would a lot of people bought on this website. And frankly, so do we want to talk about the guy who bet a hundred million on that first exhibitions match? Here's what I think happened. Because that guy was also so exhibitions always happens right after a tournament. And people were congratulating that guy for winning the previous tournament. But they weren't responding in chat or anything. So, what I think happened was somebody had a bot that just automatically bets based on, like, algorithm stuff. People do, people do crazy shit botting in this game, for whatever reason. Uh, you know, some bot that, like, knows a bunch of matchup data, or maybe it just got lucky just all inning on the tournament, you know, without the guy actually being there. And then for whatever reason, when it ticked over to exhibition mode, the bot continued all inning as though it was a tournament. That is my guess. So I think I may have actually made all this money off of like a faulty bot, which frankly I will take because uh, I also feel that bots have skewed odds away from me so many times over the years. You know, like, uh, fucking Gohan Salt Money and shit? I don't know if I actually see Gohan Salt Money on here right now. There's C-, who I don't know if they're botting, but I'm pretty sure Gohan Salt Money bots. Uh, 
but people who, again, they're, they, like, feed this fucking, like, data into their bot, basically, and it's, like, reading from a spreadsheet of, like, all the possible matchup data that's been collected over years and years. And so it's like, because of that, here's my cope for making a bunch of money off of essentially a glitch, I think. Uh, they skew the odds so frequently where it's like, oh, I think I know who's going to win. But then the odds are like six to one, you know, so I don't make any money off of that bet. That's the Robin Hood of bots. <laughs> Grapefruit beating the salty bet bots like John Henry beating the drill machine. That's so funny. I mean, it is... I, again, I'll definitely take it. Oh man. We lost. Yeah, specifically tournaments get pretty fucked up by that. You're exactly right. Uh, somebody said, I mean, if you really feel the drive and need to bot Salty Bet of things, of all things, you can have it. I don't personally feel that way because it, like, affects other people. It's like botting in, like, TF2. It's, it's not quite as extreme as botting in TF2, but it's pretty similar. Like, it, it has a negative effect on other people, but, you know, today we made big money off of it. We got a robot fight on our hands. I can't help but feel that Zeromer is just gonna fucking ruin this guy's life. But we're making a 100k bet on Dom. We'll see if Blue is a sub. LMAO. Bot takeover. I'm going back to sleep. That's so funny. People <laughs> I saw in my chat, people are pointing out in the Salty Bet chat. There's a guy saying, I'm going to bed and turning on my bot. Oh, uh, that's funny. <laughs> I like that he's operating it with a voice command. That's very humorous to me. Why do people care enough to bot Salty Bet? We've talked about this a lot, and I, I literally think the answer is, like, capitalist brain rot. I'm not even kidding. I say that for a lot of problems in the world, but... I think this is one of them. It's like that dollar sign just ruins people's fucking brains. Well, this is cool. Does he have like a robot, like, energy baseball bat? I think it's like a lightsaber kind of thing, but it really just looked like a comical yellow baseball bat for a second there. Not looking good. Uh, Dom is putting up more of a fight than I thought he would, but... These, this, all the mechs that look like blue are, are really fucking tough. This is Necrodancer music, you don't say. I really like this stage, by the way. I, <laughs> these monkeys are terrifying. We've definitely seen it before, and there's like lockers, I guess? I'm not really sure I know what's happening, actually. Uh, for some reason, this background screams like Earthworm Jim to me, even though I'm so sure that's not what it's from. Okay, Dom, throw in the towel, man. It's over. Give it up. No, you, no, don't, don't put him in the corner. Just go ahead and die. You don't have it in you. I, I, exactly, that welcome sign reminded me of the, like, grill stage. Because there is a Salty Bet stage that's from Earthworm Jim that's, like, eggs and hamburgers and stuff being cooked. This guy, uh, hey, this guy right here. Okay, am I crazy or did we see Magaki Xi, uh, like, three rounds ago? That's funny. Well, it says here that he's great. Titan the Great is indeed great, so uh, we're going to go with him, regardless of win rates. All right, 50 versus 66, Street Fighter 1 stage. Yeah, this is literally the exact guy. Oh, I would have bet for Magaki or for Titan the Great in an instant, even without that name. Look at those jorts, man. Love a guy who can rock the jorts. He lives up to his name, uh, and then some.
And he has a certain... You can tell just looking at the hands that he's a grappler, right? He looks like he wishes to hold. <laughs> this song is slapping. Uh, I have to admit, even though whenever I say Disgaea, I fucking have a little bad taste in my mouth. Because it just looks bad. I, I don't I just judge it. Judge it by its cover, baby. Okay, well, Titan the Great. He may have actually lied on his resume. I don't think he's all that great. Uh, he really does not perform well against zoners, it seems. Okay, he got one grab out. And he went, hoo-ha! Yeah, oh no, he's cooked. Titan, you're cooked. The second he gets, like, far away and starts spamming projectiles again, it's over. Okay, hey, you know what? That was damage. Uh, still an unlikely victory. Okay. He's at distance. Yeah. He sucks. Oh, is he from, uh... That's, uh, Saturday Night Slam Masters, right? That little ending screen? Oh, God. Ayu and Misuzu and Mizuka versus Lisa Lisa. Ayu and Misuzu versus and er Ayu and Misuzu and Mizuka. Fuck man, did my phone just die? The phone just died. I'm gonna need to plug this shit in. I've been I I'm gonna get a new phone, by the way. My fucking god awful trash phone. Oh, this is the girl that like puts up her dukes, yeah. And I guess she has assists. Wow, so we're on a negative three winning streak. That's just how it goes sometimes. We're gonna go for Lisa Lisa. I, it, does she... She's not in Heritage for the future, right? So this must be a unique thing. Like, I don't really recognize this sprite. I'm gonna get a new phone, because my, my current phone is a fucking piece of garbage. It, it... The battery, it's... Like, if you've ever had a phone with, like, a faulty or, like, bad battery, it's, like, whatever you had times fucking ten. It's, like, you can't imagine how bad my phone's battery is. <laughs> It's like I constantly need to charge it and it and then it goes it dies when it still says like 20% It'll just turn off We gotta also uh, Do Even bigger bets on like things that I am particularly excited about Lisa Lisa didn't really ignite my uh, loins, but at least it's not pillowing, right? Uh, I mean, I don't know, because they don't make phones that, like, open up anymore. <laughs> so bad that it loses battery while charging? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it just gets in this mood where it's like, oh yeah, I don't, like, I say that I have, like, 30%, but I'm actually going to drain down to zero within the next, like, five minutes. Like, and you can literally sit there and watch the number go down really fucking fast. It's insane. And then you'll plug it in and, like, I don't even have it set so that, like, the screen gets brighter when you plug it in, you know. And it, and it just drains while it's on the charger. I'm glad to hear that other people have had this experience, too, because I had never had this happen with a phone before. Uh, can we talk about, too, how I feel like this piece of shit phone that I've had for so long has outlasted all my other phones, like, in terms of just, like, the length of its life. And I legitimately, this is another very pessimistic, like, I hate capitalism thing, but, like, I think it's literally, like, they don't care as much about planned obsolescence with cheap-ass phones. You know? It's like a higher, like, making the phones break down after, like, three years is a way higher priority for phones that cost, like, seven, eight hundred dollars, you know? I love this song. Uh... Manly Clark. Okay, we'll see. We'll see how manly. I think he just looks like normal Clark, if memory serves. I don't know who the fuck Senel is. I'm just pissed that phones don't have headphone jacks anymore. I will not buy a phone without a headphone jack. Yeah, that's that's fucking stupid. That shit where they sold a thing that plugs up a hole in your fucking, like, it's like, oh, are you sick of your phone having a headphone jack? Here's this thing that will permanently seal it, that you cannot remove. Buy it from us for money. That was, I think that was one of the most comical 
like tech capitalism moments ever. Like, I really struggle to think of something stupider than that. Uh, somebody said that it's like a you're, the phone, the shitty phone is like a racist grandpa where it refuses to die even if you want it to. I don't know who this guy on the left is, but I have a decent amount of faith in Manly Clark. He's a King of Fighters grappler. Uh, he's he's kind of getting destroyed on Wake Up here, but is he's just grabbing him like right out of the neutral like a fucking Chad, and that's amazing. Good punish. This Senel dude is is throwing like ground beams, King of Fighters style, but I d I don't know what the fuck he's from. Is he from this guy? Clark looks like he's about to go fishing. He looks like he's about to fucking catch him a big ol' trout. You know? Oh my god. That was a cool grab, but it really didn't do much damage. That was- I was expecting, like, when he's yeeting him up in the air, like, three times, I'm imagining, like, gigas levels of damage, but no. Alright, just one more grab will do it. Uh-oh. Round three. He was, he was in Metal Slug. What was that, uh, Metal Slug 5? I don't remember which one had him and, uh, oh, what was her name? Leona. Who has been known to roar from time to time. I think that's who they were. Wrong? Oh, fuck. Oh, there was Ralph. I forgot about Ralph. Oh. Okay, we got Billy Kane. Billy Kane's very cool. Beastman.exe. Hmm. Okay, so this person who said all caps wrong, what is the right answer? What metal, uh, am I, I'm assuming that's saying that I got the wrong Metal Slug game. What is the correct one? I genuinely want to know. Kid Dracula Stage 2, which is based... Oh, this is like old ass Billy Kane versus this is some fucking uh, Mega Man uh, Battle Network. I think is the series. Is it Legends or Battle Network? We're gonna go with Billy Kane, baby. I thought maybe it was a Snow Wolf creation at first, but it it says Darkness Kyo, which I don't think is related to Snow Wolf. If it's a Snow Wolf, I'm probably betting for it, you know? <laughs> Billy Kane! <laughs> Please, dude, you need that to fight. Yeah! Uh... I don't want to call it too fast, but it kind of looks like Beast Man is cooked. Just from, like, look at that damage. He's got that fucking 1993 damage. Okay, those- look at his blocks! His blocks are on point. Billy Kane, you're really... I'm impressed. It's not even that one-sided, this is just a good fight. Ow. You, you gotta just poke him a few times with your stick. I know he's very fast, but you gotta poke him. You do crazy damage, dude. Frankly, that's like my favorite kind of guy on Salty Bet is even though they're like huge, they're like the definition of jobbers, is guys who do crazy damage. Oh, wow. Guys who do crazy damage, but are stupid. God damn it. Like, that's why I always bet on like actual Mortal Kombat characters. Uh, well, you know, it's possible. The victory is possible, but that first round was not a good sign. I really, Billy Kane's doing a- he's doing a great job. I just think this is an ass matchup. That's cool. Yeah, cool stuff going on in the corner here, dude. Yikes, dude. In the corner, he does not thrive. Car? I'm sorry! <laughs> Who the fuck was that? That was Billy Kane that did that! His friend just, like, pulled up and started bumping into the other guy. What the fuck? 
<laughs> Damn, that sucked. Robo Rocky. Oh my god, Gustavo from Pizza Tower, dude. Oh, yeah. This is uh, funk fiction. This is a great song, dude. Uh, we're, 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 we're getting some songs that I actually know today, but bangers. Gustavo. I like him. I like him. Uh, something tells me he probably sucks ass and is going to die to Robo Rocky. But you know what? I'm a man of my word. I will bet 100k. Just listen to this shit. I know Funk Fiction from the, uh... I think this is from a Sonic fan game. But I know him from... No Straight Roads. Which was kind of a shitty game with really cool art and soundtrack. At least from what I played of it. I didn't play much of it. He shit. He shits. Oh my god. I remember this guy. He rips ass constantly, right? That's like his whole thing, is he's like gross and pathetic. Oh, he sucks. I should not- Yeah, when you punch him, farts just come out of him. That's terrible. He's got Jupiter. He sucks. I should not have bet for him. I remember who he is now. Yeah, No Straight Roads, it was really disappointing because that game looks so cool and it had such a fun presentation and such a fun, like, soundtrack, but it just, it was not, it was not there in the gameplay department. At least, in my opinion, I don't know. I also played the inferior Switch port. So, uh, maybe that was part of it. Bloody bath caverns. I heard they patched the shit out of No Straight Roads. That would be cool. I'm not against revisiting it maybe on PC someday. Okay, who the fuck is Momo Memo? Oh, it's this bitch. I feel like I've seen her do really well in, like, a tournament before, like, kind of recently. I'm gonna go for her, even though she's an annoying Moe character. <laughs> so I hope you guys are doing okay. I, uh... I don't really have a lot of news to share right now. I've been eating cranberries. I've been eating dried. I got this massive bag of dried cranberries, and I've just been eating them like by the fistful. Uh, and the seeds are pissing me off. <laughs> do, you, do you guys? I have grown to really hate tiny little seeds. Uh, for whatever reason, this is something that didn't you uh, actually. You know, it's always kind of bothered me. I, I love stone fruit where there's just one gigantic. Pit, you know? Whereas shit like cranberries and like raspberries, while delicious in certain contexts, they, uh... The tiny little seeds get in your teeth, and they, like, it's not like, oh, like a little piece of chicken there or whatever. It's like those are hard wedged in there. Like, you need to floss to get that shit out, you know? Which is... I'm a dedicated flosser, so that is, like, mental anguish for me. And then... There's also, this is like, I don't know what the fuck this is. I get this urge whenever I identify by touch one of the little seeds in my mouth. I need to destroy it. Like, I need to get it between my front two teeth. This sucks, by the way. Please pull it back. Come on. I think he's still one. Yeah. It's like, I need, when I find one, I'm like, okay, that's gonna get stuck in my teeth or whatever. I'm going to identify it and crush it, not between my molars, but between my front teeth to, like, fully destroy it. But then some of them are so tiny and, like, slippery that they- I just can't- I cannot crush them, and it drives me mad. So as much as I love this, uh, th this whole dried cranberries thing, I don't think I'm gonna buy them again because the seeds piss me off too much. It completely irrational, I know. Uh, this sucks, man. You hate to, like, bet on a character that you don't even like the design of, and then lose. 
but it's over. Okay. I'm loving this song. I don't know what the fuck this is from. We got steak! I think Jazu is like some weird like claw thing with a mask, right? Kind of looks like one of the Bloodhound Knights in uh, Elden Ring. It's like, I really don't mind if I blow, like, several million dollars. Yeah. I remember this guy. He's cool. And you know what? This is clearly K. I don't know what the fuck Steak is. Maybe there's some character that's like a twin of K or something. I don't know. I like Jazu. He's got the weird bird mask. I guess he doesn't have claws necessarily, but look at those hands. Is this, uh, the same vocalist who does the fucking Knuckles song? Unknown from M.E. or whatever? It straight up sounds like the same vocalist. I don't think that's the Sonic R OST. I think that's a different thing, right? Let's look it up. Somebody Google this. Whatever it's called. Marlon D. Saunders. We are bur Oh, this is Burning Rangers. This is- ju that's just a band. That's just like a sick, like, disco band. I think. Marlon Saunders is the guy. Oh! Uh, what? That's it! He is the unknown from ME vocalist. Holy fuck, Burning Rangers is also Sega. It is the same guy, that's awesome. Oh my god. I love getting references, I love getting references. Oh yes! Okay, Jazu did not impress. I wasn't really paying attention though, because I was I was worrying about the uh Marlon D. Saunders bit. Well, he killed it in the fucking Knuckles song. The rapper, the rap in that song is embarrassing, but his vocals are amazing. Jazu could win, but I don't, I don't really see it happening. K and fucking Iori win so much more frequently than other King of Fighters characters. And, uh, Shermie, too. Shermie, K, and Iori, those are, like, the ones that, like, the fucking... The, the Mugen fanatics, I think, make characters of the most. So I feel like they just win really frequently. He won. Okay, well, this is not a good start. <clears throat> There's half his health just deleted right in the first 10 seconds. Oh, it's so Jover. It's just over. I love it. He gives you the thumbs down and you just explode. Like, what is actually happening there? He's Yoshikage Kira? I guess? Spawn! MM3 Snake Man remix. Interesting. Mega Man? Julie and Junie versus Krillin. Uh, Julie and Junie are the dolls from Street Fighter Alpha, I believe. Are all the heritage for the future characters in the pool? Just about, like, gotta be. I, I feel like I've seen most of them, if not all. Ah, uh, man, I feel like these Dragon Ball characters who do, who look like this, can pull off some pretty crazy shit, but I think I've also seen Julie and Junie go ham before. So we're gonna go with them. And Street Fighter loyalty, to a certain degree. But, like... Really, these are some of the least memorable Street Fighter characters of all time, surely. I think Pet Shop is, is in here, yeah. I've seen both versions of Kakuin, I've seen Avdol, I've seen Jotaro, there's a bunch of different versions of Jotaro, a bunch of different versions of Dio. I've seen, uh, Whole Horse and Boingo. I don't know if I've seen, like, fucking Alessi, I guess?
least memorable remembers them. Well, I also remember Cyborg from Street Fighter 2 movie on the PlayStation. And fucking Norimaro from MVC1. I know Alessi's gimmick wouldn't work, but a lot of times on Salty Bet, uh, transformation supers just turn... They have, like, a universal transformation, basically. So, like, Anna Karras from Darkstalkers, for instance, uh, or, uh... What is the guy's name? Dimitri. All the Darkstalkers characters that have transformations, they just have one universal sprite that they turn you into. And I think I could be wrong, but some of the ones that where it's like, oh, like a bunch of different Darkstalkers characters made by the same creator, I think do have, I think it's like exceedingly rare to see them in here because it's all random and from like a gigantic pool. But I think there are like unique interactions between characters or like other, like a start of the round animation that only happens if it's a specific matchup. I think those do, those can exist in Mugen, but we just don't see them a lot. Wow, you fucking missed. Shit, they're jobbing so hard. They're jobbing so fucking hard. This is unbelievable. Isn't Krillin, like, the worst guy, too? Okay, Frieza. Cool. Krillin nailed 18, Android 18. Is that what the one with like the jean jacket? Okay, well man, we're on a negative five win streak, but I do not care. I'm Elon Musk rat, I can just buy more money. You know what? Now I'm gonna do the very foolish thing and bet for, just based on the fact that he's got MVC in his name, I'm gonna bet for Frieza. But of course, classic situation. If you if you bet for if you bet against a DBZ character they're going to win if you bet for them they're going to lose that's the classic situation. Betting time is now over. Darn it! <laughs> okay, dude. Sorry to keep you waiting. What a, he sucks. Does he actually sound like that? How embarrassing. Sorry, that could, that's like ableist. Some of my best friends in life had speech impediments. This sucks. Nice, he actually does have the MVC, like, super thing. Man, I love zoners in fighting games. So cool when they're both just standing on opposite sides of the fucking screen throwing projectiles at each other. That's why you play a fighting game right there, dude. It's the Canada dub Frieza from the old... That's interesting. Okay, hey, that's good damage, dude. You got more meter, do that again. Yeah. Boom. Oh my god. That was good. I know, there's always fighting game players who are like, Oh, zoner matchups are very technical and cool, and it's like... I'm sure, dude. Like, I know there's better... There's there's good ones and bad ones. Like, I complain about Peacock in uh, Skullgirls, but I think overall that's a pretty interesting zoner character, for instance. But it's just it's so much... So often so much lamer than just fighting each other. Fucking fighting each other. <laughs> you know? Especially, like, oh my god. Fucking, like, Injustice and, like, Mortal Kombat and shit. Those are just so fucking unbearable to watch when it's just a zoner versus a zoner. And the animations are all shitty and the moves have no impact. And it's just like, ugh. Okay, negative six. Oh my god. I love this stage. Let's go with the Dark Knight, it's X tier. I, we've seen a bunch of versions of her before, I think. We're gonna go with Dark Knight. Frankly, 
X tier, sometimes crazy shit can happen, but I kind of rescind my previous statement about how win rates, like, don't matter as much in X tier. It's actually, like, one of the tiers where the win rates are usually the most indicative of who's gonna win. But not always. Certainly not always. There's definitely a chance that Blue wins this, but, uh... I've found that, like, 64 versus 41 in X is, is gonna be... It's pretty likely that Dark Knight wins, but I don't know. There's so... Like, X tier is so mental that it's pretty hard to predict. And we're probably not gonna make a lot of money even if he does win. He did not do a lot of damage. Does she have, like, a fuck ton of health or something? Look at that. He's just doing nothing to her. Or does it all happen at the end? Did his parents just die? <laughs> I thought we got a flashback or something. This is good Batman music. The Batmobile. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> it's like a grandpa Facebook post. Oh my god. That was amazing. <laughs> oh my god. That was like Joker posting. Holy shit, that killed me. Mega Mario, I think is a Mario. I believe that is a Mario. I love the car. <laughs> Which Batman was that even? Is that like fucking Affleck Batman? It looked like no real Batman. Oh no. Oh, personal space. Come on. You know what? We're gonna go with Marissa. One of the very few Toho characters that I could name off the top of my head, even after having played several. S tier is another place. Basically, the higher the tiers go, the more the win rate matters, more or less. But, uh... You know, it's not that big of a difference. It's kind of a big difference. Mega Mari is a Toho fan game based on Mega Man, huh? There are Toho fan games? That's interesting. I don't know why I said that like such a dick. <laughs> of course there are, obviously. Yeah, just a little joke. Just a little joke. <laughs> just a little joke. <laughs> There's like a million. <laughs> Bros. Had tea last night, uh, in the- in the Be Mine mug. Which is just this gigantic fucking mug with a B on it, with a heart that says Be Mine. And, uh, delicious cup of tea. And then I left it on my windowsill overnight, and when I got up, it was filled with ants. And I have talked before about being merciful to insects that cross the threshold of my house. But, frankly, there's a few where I- you gotta draw the line. You gotta draw the line at ants. You gotta draw the line at mosquitoes. You gotta draw the line at, of course, like, you know, something like bedbugs or fleas. Uh... So I, unfortunately, it feels like the, the Be Mine mug is now a, a place where an atrocity was committed because I basically just washed out the mug. I just ran a bunch of water under it. I don't know, maybe I could have put the mug outside and let the ants crawl off of it, but like, I don't know, man. You gotta go full scorched earth sometimes. Yeah, dude, oh my god, you ever leave a, leave a soda and you come back and it's just like, you like rinse out the, the, the inside of the can to go recycle it and then you pour out that tiny bit of like soda water slop and it's just half ant. So I'm sorry, I did have to uh, make an ant burger. Yeah, wasps, you gotta draw the line somewhere. Spiders I'm chill with, even the occasional fly. We don't really see flies in here, but I see an occasional fly, it's like whatever, I really don't care. I used to get ants so much as a kid, actually, or as a teenager. Uh, there was a corner of my room where they would come in. There was like, oh, gets his head is awesome. Uh, it's just a head. <laughs> there, the corner of my room, there was like ants had like tunneled through the house, basically. And it was so fucked up. And it was like whenever I remember there was one time I got like those belly flops, the like jelly belly uh, factory mishaps. 
and uh, I guess this is like a Pokemon character, right? I think. Let's go with this. I don't know. It's a fucking stupid flying head. We got a bet for it. I left a bag of like these jelly bellies, basically these like misshapen jelly bellies, and uh, and I woke up one day and it was just ants had completely infiltrated the bag. They're incredible creatures, but man, do they it, it does you know the classic example of ants at a picnic. I see why that is a you know an aphorism for something being ruined and being you know quite upsetting because it sucks having your food just covered in ants. That's Poke Hitler. Hmm. Bad guy from Pokemon Black and White. Man. Man, are Pokemon stories forgettable because I played Black and White and I remember that fucking green haired shithead being like the main villain for most of the game. But I think at the end of the game it was like, oh, he was actually morally righteous. He was the good guy. And he was awesome and right the whole time. And I was like, yeah, what the fuck ever. Nobody in Pokemon actually has, like, principles. <laughs> that's his dad. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. It might be. I just remember this stupid shit. Did anybody else have this happen to them in Gen 5? I think it was, like... <clears throat> there was, like... I had a ground-type Pokemon that was, like, carrying me, and then I got to that, like, electric gym, and then the last Pokemon being used by the boss of that, like, the gym leader in that gym has, like, an Emolga, who is, like, a flying electric-type, and completely immune to my, like, ground attacks, and I, like, had, I kept, like, trying over and over again to do that fight, and the fucking... You have to watch this stupid Ferris wheel animation every single time, where he fucking, he's like, oh, let me tell you about my cool philosophy about Pokemon. And I'm like, shut the fuck up and let me fight this stupid Amolga. Holy shit. Wait, this is so canon. This is awesome. Why are there two guys? Oh my god, they're both P tier. And they have nearly the exact same win rate. This is insane. $173 on, or $173,000 on Guy Sensei, please. Naruto cannon fight. I'm actually shocked that they're not by the same person because the sprites even look kind of similar Not totally though I'm wondering if this guy is from this guy Is he from the DS game that like arena fighter? I actually had that game I'm glad to hear that some other people had that same experience with the stupid Amolga And I, I mean, I remember really enjoying Gen 5 Pokemon, by the way. I've played 1, 2, and 5, and that's all for now. <clears throat> well, Guy is getting his absolute dick knocked off. And Hinata is, like, such a huge wuss in the show. I understand she got better over time. I think her and Naruto got married, right? Because she always had a crush on Naruto. It was like a Ginny, creepy, like, Ginny Weasley kind of thing. It's funny, the main character in uh, Haikyo is called Hinata, I think, uh, but is male. <coughs> okay, you know, it's closer than it was before. Guy is somehow, he pulled his thumb out of his ass a little bit. It is actually going to be a close one. This does not feel like a P-tier fight. Uh, all Naruto characters suck ass on here, by the way. There's, like, no good Naruto characters on Salty Bet. It's so funny. Oh my god, that pose. I remember that shit. That fucking pose. I remember cosplaying as a Naruto character at one point, uh, Kankuro. The puppet guy. And going to SakuraCon and, like... I was in, like, a group photo, I think, with a bunch of other... Uh... Naruto character cosplayers, and there's always a bunch of fucking people at every con. At least back in, like, the 2000s dressed like guy doing that stupid pose with their hips out. I also had, like, a couple of- like, my cosplays were garbage, by the way. They were so bad. Because I was, like, 13. I remember one year, I think I went as a shy guy, but it was just, uh, I always liked doing things with, like, face paint and masks and stuff. 
but it, they were so terrible. It was like I had this like red hood, like kind of like cultist sort of looking Halloween costume that had like a black semi-transparent cloth over the front that it was easy to see out of but hard to see into. Uh, and I just, I took like a fucking, I think a tiny piece of cardboard and like a piece of paper on top of it. SCALD! Uh, and, and just drew a Shy Guy face on it. I think maybe with little eye holes or something to see through. It was such a dog water costume. And then I remember I was also no face. Uh, from Spirited Away, and I just, like, wrapped myself in a cloak, and, uh, and I, it, I think that one didn't even, it literally was just a piece of printer paper, like, stapled to the cloak that had the no-face, uh, thing drawn on it. There wasn't even cardboard, it had no, it, like, got crumpled over the course of the day. <clears throat> okay, uh, you know what? I like both of these fighters. I am actually, I know this is the rare Toho loyalty. I've seen this Reimu do good things, and she doesn't look like all the other stupid fucking Toho characters on here. She doesn't have that annoying, like, chibi art style, so I'm gonna go for her. And especially because, again, she's like, one of the very few Toho characters I could actually name. And frankly, I think Skull is a cyberbot, and frankly, they... Uh, they kind of have a spotty record, spotty history of, of not really winning a ton. But you know what? I think we're cooked. I think after saying all that, I'm, we're cooked. It looks like it really reminds me of a Bionicle, actually, that I had as a kid. Do you guys know the one I'm talking about? It had like a little trigger and it had a scorpion tail and when you pull the trigger, the scorpion tail would like stab down. And they had like the- there was two of them. They were different colors and they had like the- the mask of the rock guy. That's a Nui Jaga. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of, guys. Thanks. I can't believe you guys know that off the top of your heads. That's so cool. Mega Man! My god. Megan Min. No, that's the Earth guy. Uh, what the fuck? No, the guy, the dude who claws through the rocks. It, it, the Earth, are you thinking of Pohatu, the dude with the ball? The little, like, dirt boulder that he kicks around? We're gonna go with Black Witch Eva. Yeah, Onua, the one who claws through the ground. He, they got the same, the little scorpion things have the same skull, or the same mask as him. I feel like I've been right this whole, like, people are saying, acting as though I did, did I, like, misspeak or something? The little scorpion guys have the same mask as Onua, the rock guy who claws through the rock. I always imagine with this idol animation that she makes a sound like a bell ringing, you know, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Is this, uh, MVC music? Someone said, hey, I don't know the 90% of the characters during these streams. Is that normal? I think absolutely. Jelly? She's got jelly. I feel like the confusion lies in the fact that there was... Pohatu was, like, very, like, dirt-centric. He was, like, in the desert and, like, on the mountains, and he, like, kicked around a boulder, right? Whereas Onua was, like, black, like, stone. I don't know. Forgive me if there was confusion. Okay, she's doing great. I hate that... The fucking King of Fighters has, like, ten trillion characters that look like this guy on the left. It's like some kind of, like, cult or organization or something where they all wear those stupid cloaks. They're, I hate all of them. <laughs> I really... They, they're just so samey. They all have the same... They seem to have the same kind of schmism. And I know if you're a fighting game player, they're probably, uh... A lot more interesting, but I just don't find them fun to watch. It's a very cool cloak that I've seen one trillion times at this point. <laughs> oh my god, that voice line! <laughs> Thank you. 
Pohatu was the Toa of stone, and Onua was the Toa of earth. I guess that's where the confusion lies. I, uh... I'm sorry. Not looking too good. <laughs> he got out the beast. This might be an instant KO. Pretty close. Yeah. Stupid. Morning kisses. Okay, we got Neko Arc and Bristol D on South Park. <laughs> okay. Man, I want some chicken. I want some fucking chicken teriyaki. We got this fucking nauseating, uh... We, we, we've been trying to find a good, like, Chinese place, me and Isabel, around the fucking Tom's rhinoplasty. We've been trying to, like, look around and find a, uh, a good Chinese place for, like, takeout and stuff, but... We went to this one that was just god-awful. It was just, like, some of the worst chicken I've ever had. We'd, we just got, like, General So and, like, Sweet and Sour. And it was just bad. It was just, like, super, like, bready in, like, a horrible way. And so now we have a bunch of this, like, shitty chicken in our fridge. And I don't want to eat it. I want to go get different chicken. Which feels bad, man. Go with Bristol D. I don't know what he's from, but he looks kind of cool. Might not even be from anything, it might just be an OC. I like his wiggle fingers. Oh my god, that was- that's the- that's an enemy from Mother 3, like, straight up. That circle with the legs. It's called, like, a love legs or something? I, I forget. Uh, looking pretty even at the moment. The song keeps making me think that it's- oh my fucking god, what was that? I keep thinking that this song is We Are Number One. Is that wrong? This is a fucking RPG battle right here. This is hardly even a fighting game. They just do an I attack, you attack. I attack, oh you missed. I attack again. They both have, like, bug moves. This Neko arc can make, like, a giant fucking mantis claw come up from the earth. Uh, Bristol D just does not have the ability to deal with that stupid laser move. That's like, he's just getting hit with it over and over again. Really sad. Many such cases. Come on, stupid fucking bee. <laughs> I really love calling any insect a bee for whatever reason. I think I remember a young child uh, that my my family, like my parents, were babysitting when I was like 15 or something. She was on our, our like porch, and there was an ant on the ground, and she was like trying really hard to stomp it with her shoe, and she kept going a bee. <laughs> and I think ever since then, I really have enjoyed the joke of misidentifying any insect as a bee. Oh, this is, uh, this guy. Oh my god, it's a Goo Goo. Let's do a huge bet on Goo Goo. Yeah, let's do it. This guy versus Goo Goo. I believe this guy creates immense, uh, like, gusts of wind. And, and it does insane damage. So, this cre- what I mean when I say Goo Goo, by the way, because some of you probably don't even understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Author Gugu64 on this guy. Uh, and Gugu is just a, a creator who makes a bunch of weird, broken characters on Mugen, and a lot of them are based on, like, weird art from art books and, like, action figures is a common theme. And they usually have really stupid AI, but random moves that do unbelievable amounts of damage, basically. Several people bet one million on this guy. 
So they have kind of a tendency to sit there and tank damage and then like kill their enemy in like two or three hits. And their animations are usually quite bad. <laughs> or minimal. That's the wind move. If she gets hit by that wind move, she's done for. That will just melt away her entire fucking health bar in one go. But she needs to get hit by it. And Goo Goo's are not intelligent. <laughs> yeah! Let's go! <laughs> I like calling any animal a cat. Dude, that's so... That's so real. I like doing it, but dog. I think your dog is sick, you know, classic. Oh my fucking god, yep, that wind move, just so good. And kicked with his little <laughs> shitty foot. God, I love Goo Goo so much. So we still made, even though I, you know, it's 3.4 to, 3 to 1 odds, I still made 100k off of that. Crazy. Kina versus Shingo. This is a very brief... It, neats? I'm sorry, does it say Neats up there? Tokyo Active Neats? What do you mean? <laughs> what do they mean by this? Why would you name your musical group that? God, Okina rings a bell. What is Okina? Oh. I do not recognize that guy, but I am absolutely betting... But guys, watch out. It would have just, like, you hear a really loud, like, a, 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 you know, a distant train horn that just gets louder and louder and, like, the screen gets brighter, and then a, a train just comes from the perspective of the camera and just rails over both of them. Yeah, Okina was an Elden Ring character, that's so true. That's where I... That's where I remember the name from. Bangers, as usual. Yeah, that's the time limit, is the train. <laughs> or you have to, like, not be in the way of the train at the end of the fight. It's like that guy in King of Fighters who, uh, or I think Fatal Fury, who... That was awesome. When he dies, he, like, shoots a bullet at your ankles on the ground, and it's an instant kill, and you have to jump over it. I enjoyed when Shingo, who I think is just Kyo or Rock, I forget. I think that's Kyo. Maybe it's just a character that looks a lot like Kyo. I liked when he was just standing there and letting Okina hit him with really slow attacks. Are there actual interactive salty bet stages? Uh, the closest you're gonna get on that, I think, is stages that don't have walls. There's like one or two that just loop infinitely instead of having a, any sort of corner. But those are quite rare. I think that's about it. I can't think of any other. Turtle! Holy shit. That was awesome. Do that again. They both got one meter. Good shit, Okina. Just don't choke. Very nice. Oh, he must be from King of Fighters as well, because he did the, uh, maybe that was just on Shingo's side. He did the, the epilepsy screen when he killed. Okay, Centro versus Mercurius. Is Centro... Centro's not like a... Sentinel. Uh, that's such a stretch. No way that's true. Okina cooked. He was awesome. And you know what? We got upset money on that. We got 200,000 fucking bucks. We're back above, uh, 16 million. Oh my god. No, it's not actually Noromaro. No, it's this fucking stupid dog. Oh, I have to vote for the stupid. Is it like the Jetsons dog or something? Uh, I think it's from the Jetsons. Let's do 107669. Awesome mech fight. That fucking dog that I hate! Crypto? Klepto? Uh, what do you- I, I- Hmm. Uh, 
<clears throat> okay, he's got super armor. He deploys smaller dogs. Does he have a boss health bar? He made the HUD disappear. What the fuck? Punch! <laughs> I love when a dumb fucking song comes on during a dumb fucking match. In Salty Vet, that shit is so good. Turtle power! So, that health bar up in the top right, I think, is uh, Blue's health bar. Which means that Red is currently getting his dick knocked off. <laughs> Heoth? Is that supposed to say health? I guess that is an A. Technically. Barely. <laughs> Every once in a while, there's one that's like a banana phone parody. Except instead of banana phone, it's potato match. And when that one comes on during a really stupid match, that is some of the hardest I've ever laughed, I feel like. That's another Sonic Mega song, who is a guy who, uh... As I, I never hesitate to dispense this fact, he, uh... Be oh, he's actually- Dog's actually doing okay right now. Is the voice actor for Rivali in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. In English. Is some guy who also made music for Salty Bet. Okay, dog. Uh, somehow you pulled that victory out of your ass. The first round, it just took so long for the dog to even injure Blue at all, to the point where I couldn't even tell that that was their health bar. He's getting- he's cooked. He's so cooked. He's utterly fucking cooked. He just doesn't have the self-preservation instinct, I feel. He just stands there and tanks damage like a fucking boss. And- and like, literally like a video game boss. Not like in a cool way. Damn, did he do damage on his death explosion in a way that might, like, make there be a, uh, a draw? Is that... I may have seen wrong there. Lasher. I remember Lasher. Lasher's like a Spider-Man edit, right? With, uh, with, like, green tentacles. I think Lasher's good, too. Okay, he's not green, but he is some, like, Spider-Man-looking guy. Hey, and the versus a, uh... A mutant, it would appear. I don't know if I've ever seen this stage before. Or if I have, I don't remember it. She's, like, waterbending the liquid inside of her tits. It really is a fake Marvel match. Neither of them are actually from Marvel. Like, the games, I mean. His tentacles are really fucking hyperactive. Like, that is a terrible, terrible idle animation. Just, like, truly awful. That's like the fucking Shuma Gorath in Marvel vs. Capcom. His idle animation for a long time I thought was like a horrible loop like that. But then I looked at it closer and it was actually just a weird animation, but well done. This is just a poorly done one. Look at him go. The stage from the last Blade 2, Okina's stage. The same Okina that we saw earlier? Last Blade 2. That's funny. What the fuck is The Last Blade 2? I'm gonna look that up, because I've never heard of that. Will they ever- Oh, I need to plug in my phone, I forgot. Will they ever release Marvel vs. Capcom 2? Apparently not. I, I feel like those are in the vault at this point. I'll be right back. Yeah, the Marvel games, uh, I think, like, at the very least, the first two, if not everything besides Infinite. Hell yeah, Lasher. It's, it's not looking good for those. Okay, Mexican Typhoon, very cool. I don't remember what Alcyon is. 
it's just like with the the titan that is the MCU. I just think they can't. They straight up just can't even do that shit anymore. Oh, awesome. I, I like both of these guys. That's cool. And we got basically a red versus blue thing. It's more like a red versus green. Oh, you know what? I'm going to bet against Mexican Typhoon. Sorry, buddy. And I think it's this is going to be like, I think, honestly, the odds are going to be pretty close. If I had to guess. MVC movie, it would never happen. I feel like that would never fucking happen. And I, I, you know, I don't even know if I'd love to be wrong here. I, I, I would quite like to be right here, frankly. Uh, four to one. Never mind. Never mind. And the sad thing is that Mexican Typhoon, I think, really has a chance here too. That fucking pummel. <laughs> He's got that Vega claw dive. Nice. Oh, and we're gonna have to just sit here and watch this happen. Uh oh. Oh, missed. Missed me, bitch. <laughs> that move is so stupid. Shit, son. This song's good, too. Wow. The fact that he can avoid those is crucial. God, I'd be so pissed if I was Mexican Typhoon right now. My big super grab whiffed multiple times, and you get killed by that annoying ass command grab move. Yu-Gi-Oh music. Three Brawly. Okay. I'm assuming this is Brawly, B-R-O-L-Y. SSJ is like a, a status of Super Saiyan, right? In, uh, in DBZ. <laughs> he looks like shit. Let's vote for him. <laughs> this sprite just looks like ass. Uh, you know what? Let's do 169. Fuck it. Because this is another one where I think it's got a good chance of being actually pretty close odds. Uh, and, you know, looking at this fucking chick on the right, you know she's powerful. She's doing the Eminem pose. She's playing Ratatouille right now. Hey yo, I, st I know it's your first time playing Ratatouille. Let me show you the ropes. Uh, Isabel and I like to play Ratatouille with Shu. One to four, cool. I like those odds. So if Brawly wins this, we get over half a million, which is nuts. And it looks like he just does not take damage. What the fuck is that? What is his health like? Is there gonna, like, come a certain point where he, like, reaches a threshold and then starts taking real damage, or what? <laughs> oh god, that's embarrassing, Brawly. Please do something, dude. Okay, he did some damage. Now she's gotta work for, like, ten minutes to make up for that one hit. He sucks so much, but he's such a tank. And he does, every once in a while, just a decent amount of damage. I can't imagine that this damage is Blue's fault. It's gotta be... It's gotta be that he has an insane amount of health. There's no way. She can't do enough damage in time. That's so funny. Why is he minus seven? I truly don't know. What tier is this? Uh, A tier. Couldn't tell you. 
I don't really, I'm not 100% sure what's going on here, frankly. Oh, yep, now do some cool half her health. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. I would be so pissed if I had bet against this. For so many reasons. Oh, yeah? What the fuck was that? He, he, it's over. She literally cannot do enough damage to him unless there's some mechanic that's gonna let her do it. That I don't understand. Just, just finish it, Brawly. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you can try. Oh, you can sweat all you want, hon. Yep, whatever. He got one, like, super on you, so sorry. Cool. That's a big fucking payout. By my standards. I see Isabel responded to me on Discord. And said, what? <laughs> okay, sorry, one second, one second. Rocket Raccoon, baby. Oh, I'm voting for the fat guy, you know it. This is a Fatal Fury stage, I think? Author, nobody. There just isn't one. Okay, you know what? We're gonna- I'm gonna go nuts now. We're gonna do six- half a million dollar bet on the big fat guy. Just for kicks. Just for kicks. Sorry, I was checking Discord again. I said that Isabel has become used to me just sending her random crap to put onto my computer, but... This time she was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, uh... He was doing so good at the beginning, and now I feel that he has become exhausted and is going to lose. Oh! That face! <laughs> that was like, if you were gonna ask me how that match was gonna end, never in a million years would I have guessed what actually happened there. <laughs> hey, uh, can you do that again, buddy? Do the big mushroom move, please. God. It's looking like- just conserve your meter, just don't even use meter. This is good, this is all part of the plan. It's not a, it's, that's cope. Oh man, he, that juggle was really cool actually, Rocket Raccoon, you gotta hand it to him. Okay. That was something. Cool belly laser. Dude, I hate- he's got the cable laser, it's over. Ah, man, I hate the cable laser. Alright, there he goes. Kinda looks- that little portrait makes him look like a fucking, you know, Jojo villain of the week, in a way. That was funny as fuck, at the very least. Okay. Clone Zero versus M. Bison. On Guile. I keep thinking the- da 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 I got a Okay, hey, this is kind of cool, except it's one of these losers again. We'll do a solid 100k. You know, let's do like a 300k. On M. Bison. pretty cool stage. I love all the stages where they're like in a really weird place. There's one called like Crimea River that's like, I don't know what game it's from, but it's gorgeous. Where they're like on a raft in the middle of a river. And there's like all these like gigantic like Indian looking statues in the background. It's so cool. This is from Alpha 3, really? The, the stage? Damn. I don't remember that shit when I played Alpha 3. I played Alpha 3 Max, which ostensibly has like a significant amount of the content from that whole series, but 
Probably not everything. Guile's stage from Alpha 3 console version. Huh. Well, M. Bison's getting his dick absolutely knocked off. It's totally over. There's absolutely no way he wins this. He's just getting utterly whooped. Come on, can we get a sore loser AI? Dare we dream? As stupid as sore loser AI is. He did damage. Okay, nice Psycho Crusher. Very cool. Unfortunately, he has the fucking, like, Sweat Lord crouch on the ground and just do damage to the entire fucking screen for like 20 hits move, which is slightly unfortunate. Okay, he got hit out of the beginning of his super twice, that's very unfortunate as well. Fucking... Eat these nuts. Yeah, that's, that's an SNK boss, alright. That bullshit move. God damn it, dude. That's so bull. Same songs going and everything. Kizaru head, another head. This is like a One Piece guy, I think. It, this Kizaru head, if I remember correctly, looks jank as fuck. And I, I think maybe sucks. I think it's bad. All right, well we're clearly sailing down to fucking ten million again. Uh, <laughs> there he is. No author on this one. We'll go with him. We'll go with the head. We gotta vote for the head. Let's relish and remember the time that I was in the top 1,000, because it's not gonna- I'm not gonna be here for long, apparently. Is he from One Piece? Do, do we- do we know? Yeah, he is. Okay. I mean, I knew what to expect, but I'm still here flabbergasted. Yeah, I mean, it really... It transcends, uh, description. And I love that he knocks that chick out of the way. I don't- I don't know her name, but she's a Toho as well. Okay, you know what? Maybe he's good. Maybe he's a good character. <laughs> the finger! <gasps> That's good. That's real good. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you, Kizaru Head. He really does look like Adam Sandler, that's fucked up to say. Okay. There's his finger, he pulled it out of his ass. Kizaru, stop gooning and win. He's tabbed out to cock porn. There you go. He's got the magic touch. Alright, what do we got? Gao Gaigar versus Joker Nanaya. Joker, I believe, is a, uh, a Shiki edit from Melty Blood. I don't know what the fuck Gao Gaigar is, but I'm excited to see. Okay. Lame. I kind of hate Shiki, or is it Shinky? Shiki or Shinky is the guy that there's like a billion fucking edits of on here. I'm gonna- I'm gonna anti-Shiki, uh... Disloyalty. Bet. And we're gonna go with this robot. This little fucking- it really does look like somebody just took a fucking Gundam or whatever and just th th grabbed the top of it, grabbed the bottom of it, and <clears throat> just compressed it. Like, maybe even, like, in Photoshop. Okay. Well, Shikis usually are, like, the fucking sweatiest, try-hard, edgelord motherfuckers. 
So I don't have high hopes for this mech. He's like the most heh core character of all time. I love this yelling that's happening. <laughs> I believe that is our robot getting hit. I believe is what's making that sound. Oh, that regen! Oh, that's gonna turn the tables, dude. That's gonna make all the difference. Oh, this guy's awesome. He healed, like, one hit worth of damage. Holy fucking shit, he actually- what the fuck just happened? He's green now. He's green with it? I think he did, like, an install. Is what happened. And the heal was just a small part of it. <laughs> Please, kill this bastard for me. Come on, don't make me go gag. Oh. He did the install. Now win, please. This fucking screaming is so obnoxious. Oh my god. What? Oh my god, yes. Bonk! He got out the bonk hammer. Hell yeah. There was so much lore involved there too. That was kind of beautiful to watch. You'll love to see Shiki get bonked on the head. Okay, Chip, I believe, is from, uh... I see KOF and I see Chip, who I think is from Guilty Gear. If I remember right. Well, we're still not up to the point where I, like, uh, the amount of money that I was at when I started the stream, but I tell you what, this has been a hoot. What a riot. Oh, this is a Metroid Fusion stage. This is- that's Ridley's tail right there. This is the place where you find the frozen Ridley in, uh, Fusion, which is such a cool moment. Damn, I can't believe Gao Gaigar actually pulled that victory out of his ass. It was all that install, that was- that was what he needed the most. I, I might seriously, like, sign off pretty soon, though, and go get teriyaki, because I- my mouth is watering. I'm actually just sitting here drooling like an idiot, thinking about teriyaki- spicy chicken teriyaki. Oh! I thought it crashed for a second. Look at all the tiny little metal slug explosions that are happening. They're not actually metal slug explosions, but, like, SNK explosions. I love that the game just keeps freezing, just outright. Like, what's making that happen? Cool fact, Chip is canonically an ex-crack addict, and also the president of his own country in South Africa. I- I really have difficulty believing that. Can we get some confirmation that he's an ex-crack addict? You- you- you gotta- oh, nice. You can understand how I wouldn't believe that, right? That's true, it's entirely true, it's true. Wow. I did not know crack addicts existed in the Guilty Gear universe. Uh, I, like, I knew there was some wacky stuff in Guilty Gear, but I did not know there was crack. Alright. Oh my god, he full healed. That's pretty bad. Okay. Uh, they're both healing. That was weird. These guys both had strange heal moves. Okay, classic. I bet he's a boss in some fucking SNK game. Because he has some bullshit mechanic like that. Grippadasu! Grippadasu! 
Kuripudasu, Kuripudasu, Kuripudasu. I don't know what this is. Unit select. Is this a? Uh, this isn't Metal Gear music, is it? Oh, Snow Wolf. I see Snow Wolf. Oh, he's a weird, shitty little fat guy. Well, listen, I like this little guy, but I'm gonna go with the Snow Wolf. I'm sorry. And it's it's probably honestly gonna be nowhere. Like the the odds aren't even gonna be good. Look at this beautiful stage. Is she an Inuyasha character? I had a friend who was like the world's biggest Inuyasha fan. So I always associate this uh that series with that friend. So uh, this was, there are a lot of characters that are like a collaborative effort where Snow Wolf like participated. And, oh, is this a Moomin character? Is that what that is? Uh, it, but Snow Wolf is just as a character creator, well known for making characters that have like really bullshit comeback mechanics. So I'm not sure this is going to happen, but if I had to put a guess to it, I'm going to say Kikyo is probably going to get below like 20% health and then do some ridiculous super that like instantly kills Kuripudasu. Kuripudasu or whatever. That's just how Snow Wolf's like tend to go, but this was like created by some person and Snow Wolf. And you know what? This timer scam works out if that is the case, because she's never gonna fucking get below 20%. <laughs> that kinda sucks. We'll see if she can pull the victory out of her ass, but it seems like this Moomin fuck's got good blocks and, uh... ...just enough damage to prevent her snow wolfing out on him. And also is low profiling a lot of her projectiles. Hey, look, that was good. I think she's basically good now, unless he does. Okay, he just did a mental amount of damage to her, honestly. Cool. All right, let's see. Let's see. Could it's really anyone's game, frankly. I love the, like, kangaroo DP that he does. He's got, like, a Shoryuken where he just pulls a kangaroo out of his ass. <sighs> He's gonna bust out the Moomin stall. It's funny, sometimes when he holds up Moomin, it's, it's, like, bloody or something. It's, like, covered in, like, orange or red blood. Kind of disturbing. Okay, yeah, cool fucking arrow of light. Oh my god, that was amazing. She just, like, juggled him between two, like, Aegis reflectors. Like, five times in a row. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, get fucked, dude. Okay, Ryo from, uh... Uh... Art of Fighting, I'm assuming, versus Jinx from Teen Titans. <laughs> Didn't even make money off of that, though, as I predicted. Okay, whoa. Oh no, it's Jinx from Mario RPG? Bruh. It's actually kind of badass. He was such a cool character, too. I'm- I- we gotta go with Jinx, man. 150... 536... I don't know if I've ever seen this guy on here, or if I did, I didn't, like, recognize him as... a Mario RPG guy. Let's- let's do, uh, let's do it too. Hold on. Fuck, I... I did the numbers wrong, but... Roughly 200k. <laughs> I think I accidentally deleted one too many.
Jinx, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but he's like this really like tiny, tiny, tiny ninja. Like really here, this doesn't feel like his canonical size. He's much smaller than this in the game. But uh, he's like really fast and really powerful. And when you beat him, he gives you like one EXP or like a coin or something, right? God, those hit sounds are so fun. Rio's block game is too good though, holy shit. <laughs> Come on, Jinx. <laughs> Come on, nice. Very good. Yeah, and you fight him multiple times, too. And then I think he's one of the things that you need to do to get to, like, the Final Fantasy boss, right? Okay, looking good, looking good. Nice. He's kind of built like a nose leaf. <laughs> okay, get the fuck out of here, Rio. Evil Ken. We'll probably be going with Evil Ken. If I had to guess, unless Ziyukyo really blows my socks off. He just gives you, like, a really good item. Okay. But that is the... He's in the same city where you fight the Final Fantasy guy, right? Okay. Nice. All oh, red versus blue. Wait, this is badass. Is he a Sam Show character? I'm going with Evil Ken. Even though this guy's got a sword, and, like, Shotos don't do well against swords. And clearly he's not got a lot of respect. And I thought I was evil. I love this, like, when I saw Courtroom as the stage name, I was really imagining some kind of, like, I don't know, pixel art or, like, anime-styled courtroom, kind of like Ace Attorney or something. Now this is, like, a real-ass courtroom. <laughs> Like, shockingly real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how few people bet on Ken. Everybody knows this matchup sucks. I had to dream. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's already dead, dude. Okay, buddy. Yeah, Shotos versus sword characters just never goes well, I feel like. And look, he's like, he's missing. He can't even land a move. Pathetic. Jeez, dude. Just finish it. Put him out of his misery. I love when we get red versus blue, though. That shit's cool. I wonder if uh, the teriyaki place that I like is open. Daz Bones. That rings a bell. There's a place that I like to go to called Teriyaki Madness. I am infected with the madness. Okay, oh. Is he another One Piece guy? Uh, this guy on the right looks like fucking uh, Nakito from Danganronpa. I had to say it. I had to say it. <laughs> yeah, this is real money. We're betting real money. No, if only. If I had this much money, I would not be betting it. I would fucking give it to- I'd give like 90% of it to charity. <laughs> That's not even like- I'm not even trying to like brag, it's just like I would feel so anxious and like fucked up and weird having that much money. I would like put it in savings or something, I don't know. Not looking too good for Daz Bones here. Uh, oh, yeah, you know, well, uh, does he have sword leg? Is one of his legs a sword? 
Or maybe it's like a trick weapon that like turns into a sword. I think this guy's got sword legs. KO! I like the 3D KO. Oh hell yeah, Teriyaki Madness closes 9 p.m. I got plenty of time. It's like 6 right now. Not only does Blue look like Nagito, but this crusher machine in the background is making me think of uh, Danganronpa V3. Which is not the same game that Nagito's from, but... Uh, rip the bones. There's a different 3D KO effect. What the fuck? KO. Oh my god, Cell is gonna blow. Yes. I think, is Zakuro another one of those stupid cloak characters from King of Fighters? Cell is gonna blow is amazing. If you've not seen this guy, you're in for a treat. Alright, we're betting it. We always gotta bet against Cell is gonna blow, I feel like. Even though Cell is gonna blow is amazing. So, basically... I'll just spoil it for you, because I think it's, it's more fun to watch when you know what he's going to do. Cell is gonna blow just sits there and charges for a set period of time, and then when he reaches a, a, a certain time, he insta-kills the opponent, basically. So, that with that little animation there, I think. Yeah. He explodes and destroys the opponent, so it's literally just a race against time for the opponent to do damage to him. So, it, it kind of all depends on, like, if a character is good at just doing a ton of damage to a completely immobile target that has super armor, and it's looking like there's not a fucking chance in the world that she's gonna do enough damage. I think she's totally cooked. There's no way she wins this. Cell is absolutely gonna blow on her twice. No, she's totally cooked. And that's funny, somebody bet a million on Zakuro-chan for some reason. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and there's just- I love that there's just like a hole in the ground and then he like reforms. That's amazing. So I wonder if it's always, like, consistently the explosion starts at 22 seconds on the clock. It might change depending on, like, because some moves pause the clock temporarily. So maybe that will make it a little bit variable. We'll see here, though. We'll see if it happens at 22, because, again, no way she's going to kill him. Dude, if Potato Match came on right now, I would laugh so fucking hard. Alright. Oh, no, he started blowing up at 30 that time. Alright, you're cooked. Get out of here. <laughs> I think it's totally unblockable. Awesome. <laughs> David Wise from Battletoads. Battletoads and Double Dragon SNES. What do you mean, Battletoads and Double Dragon? Alright, Nami, I think, is another character from uh, One Piece. Also thinking of Nami.wav from uh, Scratch and Melody, the character that says, I want burger free. Dude, maybe I should go get dicks, actually. There's this restaurant around here, and it's like this super, I feel like, kind of chintzy, weird little diner. Uh, and it's called Dicks, yes. D I C K apostrophe S. Laugh it up. And it's, it's like, a, literally, like, a Seattle landmark. It's more of like a Lake City landmark, really. 
but uh it's this place where like the burgers they give you it's they have a weird business model where it's like you just pull up and you say hey i'd like three hamburgers and you get no customization with the hamburgers it's always the same thing there's like a hamburger a deluxe hamburger a cheeseburger and a deluxe cheeseburger and you just order it and they like have them already ready right in front of you basically oh my god no fucking so this is like some rainbow edition bullshit that's awesome i just wanted to go for a big upset it's not gonna happen though <laughs> Uh, so they just like have these they're constantly preparing burgers just so that when people come up to the window and order it it's like you can't even step like set foot inside of dicks like only the employees are inside the building and you just go up to the building and it's like this very like 50s styled sort of diner experience very retro looking the, the people who are there wear like these bright orange outfits and you just go and get and it's 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 a classic uh hangover cure restaurant because it's open 24 fucking hours of the day or maybe if it closes it closes at like 2 a.m so they're like basically always open and i remember in college there were so many times that people there would be like a party going on and somebody would be like hey oh i'm just gonna go do a dicks run and just get like 20 hamburgers for like wicked cheap basically and they're the the burgers are like the shittiest little like mcdonald's hamburger like they're very sad but you know what when you are drunk and or high they hit the spot you know what nami did uh more damage than i thought she would Literally, I've heard the term, like, a dick's run so many times in my life that it's it's become completely normalized. More sad than Crystal or White Castle burgers. I don't know what Crystal is, but I would say better than White Castle. But kind of a different thing. I mean, White Castle is kind of its own, like, genre of burger. You know? Oh, looks like Lark is streaming Minecraft. We'll, we'll raid him in just a bit. Did you guys know that White Castle... I didn't know this because I don't really eat White Castle ever. What the fuck? Okay. Uh... Is this like a DBZ edit? Shenron. Both of these are... This is like a Toho edit versus a DBZ edit, I think. Um... I didn't know this for a really long time. White Castle burgers are, like, grilled entirely without touching a stove. There's, like, this bed of, like, hot onions that they put the patty on top of. And the reason the patty has those little holes in it is because it never actually touches a grill. It's just getting, like, steam cooked by the steam coming off of all these onions. And so I never knew this because I never really ate at what the fuck at White Castle. I guess they're like really oniony. They're steamed in onions, essentially, yeah. And it's like a very specific, like that's why they have the holes. Steamed hams. Steamed from the steamed clams. The meat at White Castle is gray before it's cooked. That's messed up, man. I think I learned this because Isabelle and I were watching some, like, binging with Bobish bullshit. I don't know if it was actually binging with Bobish, but it was, like, uh, some cooking channel that was like, we're gonna try to, like, recreate a White Castle burger. That sucked. Come on, Shenron, pull it together, man. Not looking good. Don't touch that green thing. Did you guys hear that woodblock sound effect? I like to call him binging with bad bitch. Cause he's a little bitch. <laughs> okay, well. I don't have high emotional stakes in this battle anyway. Although it would have been a cool little upset. 
Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, what the fuck are you on a soccer ball? <laughs> okay, how about one more? Ifrit. One more and then we'll peace out. Didn't even get halfway through matchmaking. Started basically right at the beginning of matchmaking. I think a few matches had gone by. I might actually go get dicks instead of teriyaki. I'm I'm torn. What if we can we get a vote? How do you do a vote in chat? You guys are gonna vote dicks though. Like, I feel like that's just guaranteed. Oh my god, Ifrit, yes, four hundred thousand on this man. He's gonna get absolutely annihilated. I feel like we saw her t earlier too, or someone that looked a lot like her. Vote. Dicks. <laughs> uh, it says here, vote for the option represented by its numeric position. What the fuck does that mean? It's probably just gonna list dicks. Let me just try this out of curiosity. Invalid parameters. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck you mean. Vote. It says vote like brackets index. Vote for the option represented by its numeric position. I, huh? Ifrit's cooked. We're so cooked. <laughs> it's over. It's Jover, dude. <sighs> Look at his fucking little picture in the corner. <laughs> he's showing her his, like, armpit stank. I love that when he's blocking, he, like, curls up in the fetal position. That's really funny to me. He's like, just leave me alone! He just summoned a little mini-me! Oh, is this Doom? I feel like it's a classic to hear Doom on here, MF Doom. He got his fucking thing... ...eliminated. His super got cancelled. Absolutely. Oh my god, is this an Arm Joe stage? No way, right? No, I don't think it is. No, it's not. Uh, something about the, like, colors and, like, the sprites of the characters in the background made me think it was Arm Joe, but no way. It's got, like, Japanese... Actually, no, the... Arm Joe's a Japanese game, but it looks too good to be Arm Joe. Right? Fist of the North Star? Okay. Fish? <laughs> Fish? Alright, you know, if has got a little bit more, uh, pep in his step this round, I, I think... I think it's not entire- oh, it, it, look, we're gonna totally get a timer scam here, though. Just bust out a big-ass laser, Ifrit. Oh, you're gonna need a bigger laser. Big- two big lasers, please. In the next five seconds, dude, would be nice. And what the fuck was that, dude? Pathetic. All right. I think it's probably time to sign off. Uh, for all I- oh my god, Fatter Tony. No, we gotta do Fatter Tony. No, sorry. This whole part of the fucking VOD is probably gonna have either bad audio quality or just get completely muted because of Doom music. Maybe if I just talk over it the whole time, we'll be spared. Alright, well, all I did was lose money today, but you know what? Again, I had a great time. So here's Fatter Tony. Uh, I believe he has, like, Sagat's moveset for whatever reason. You know what? Let's do a million on Fatter Tony. Just for fun, and it's it's against a, uh, it's against a task force guy, you know? Let's do a million on Fatter Tony. I've never heard, I've never heard this Doom song, so this sample is not familiar to me. But it, that sounded like a fucking, like, a police man talking about, like, a rescue or something. It was a very clearly a very like like a militant man. I believe that is Fatter Tony's voice, by the way. Aw, oh, dude, look, I'm the top better. Holy fuck. That's powerful. I feel like that almost never happens. Okay, come on, Fatter Tony, don't job. Use your fucking Sagat moves, please. 
This is pathetic. <laughs> this is just pathetic. Tiger! Oh my god, because Tiger, I never even put that together, dude. He's getting utterly whooped by Task Force Despero. Oh, that was pathetic, dude. He is jobbing so hard. This sucks. Tiger! Tiger! <laughs> Man, the Task Force guys usually, like, suck ass. It's just that Fatter Tony is a s special kind of suck. Rip the one mil better. It's fine, because I got eight mil for free last night, so I kind of feel like I'm betting nothing right now. Goodbye, Fatter Tony. It wasn't good. <laughs> that fucking freeze frame. <laughs> <sighs> All right, let's see. Don't be a funny one. Don't be funny names. Trish Una. Yeah, whatever. We know her, but eh. All right, that's enough. I did a million bet. We all had a lovely time. And now I'm going to go get food, I think. Uh, but I hope you guys got a kick out of this. Uh, I assume Lark is still live. Unless he had a comically short stream. No, yeah, here he is. Okay, I see fucking Captain Sparkles is also live. So, Lark is not safe, basically. Uh, slash read. I'm very hungry, so I'm just gonna leave. I'm <laughs> just going. I'm gonna go get some White Castle. <laughs> uh, I should clean Shoes Cage, too. I said I was gonna do it yesterday, and then I just didn't. He's sleeping right now. He's all slumped over sleeping. He just, I love, he does such a good, like, plop. He just, like, slams his head down on his side and just, he's, just, he's so cute. Uh, all right. I hope you guys had a nice time. Next time we'll do more extreme betting. I think the next stream will probably be more of this. I might be trying to wrap up the Salty Bet streams uh, in the coming weeks. Might even do some reviews. I, I'm sort of in the mood to pick off... Silent Hill 2, the reviews and shit, like all the old stuff before I start doing new shit. So we'll see. And of course, in the future, we'll have stuff like Peggle Dinners and, and Brutal Orchestra and other sort of fun stuff. Uh, so have a lovely day. I'm going to go eat dicks. Goodbye. <laughs>